hello everyone today i am going to show you guys about how you can add the dashed lines of all the floor plans of a multi-story building at the same time without using the line work command or setting the visibility graph graphics of each floor plan one by one but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start now in this level one floor plan you can see the waffle slab as a grayed out lines same you can see in the level two and in the level three it is the beams are something like this so now i don't want to show them like this i want them to be represented in dashed lines so one way is that you go to the view tab open this vis visibility graphics dialog box now these beams come under the title of this uh, structural framing and from here you can set the dashed lines now you can see that in this level one floor plan these beams are being represented in the dashed lines but if you go to but if you go to level two or level three they are shown in the straight lines um, complete lines so i don't want that so what you need to do is from here select these all of these three plans then right click on it and click on this apply view template now in this dialog box uh, whatever changes you uh, you will do it will be applied on all of these floor plans which you have selected so go open this visibility graphics overrides model and from here change the structural framing from this i'm going to select this dash 1 by 16 you can also change the color or give the line weight click ok Again, click OK. Again, click OK. And now you can see that the lines has been converted to dashed lines in all of these floor plans. In this similar manner, you can change the uh, dash. Uh, you can change the dash lines of the electrical fixtures or uh, or any overhead lines which you want to present any projections or anything in the floor plan in this way you can save your time so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe